Let me introduce my guest, Matt. Hi. I always want to say Matt from Vertical Horizon. You should. I mean, you should. Because that's how I know you. Yeah. I'm Matt Scannell, and I sing and play guitar in an amazing band called Vertical Horizon. Matt wrote the most popular song of 1998. And then a bunch after that. I think it was technically the year 2000. Oh, yeah? Was the year when it was the most played song on the radio, which is, it's a long time ago. But, but it's, it's like the song but of the millennium. it's not as long ago as 1998. Do you remember uh, all the stores would sell like little cheap plastic countdown to the millennium? Yes. Like party favors? Yes, I do. Yeah, I bet you were on every playlist <laughs> at that party. But we were on every playlist at that party. That's awesome. Yeah, it was pretty great. And that was before Spotify when you had to work to be on playlists. <laughs> I invited you here because I like talking to my friends and I like trying to make other people's lives better if I possibly can. Okay. I know you are also a good person. You have helped make my life better oh, even dude. in recent times yeah. as recently as a couple of days ago. So I figured you'd be good for this. Would you like to answer a vertical uh, video or a horizontal video? Oh, that's a... Because <laughs> I think you have experience in both. <laughs> vertical, horizontal would be if your band yeah. just started today. So this is the most horizontal one we okay, have. Okay, good. Let's do it. Hi, Mike. My name is Juan Marcos and I'm from Puerto Rico and I'm a big fan of your show. I'm a big fan of Diamond and Banter. Dynamic banter. It's a different and show. My question is, you know, from the beginning of the year, I set a goal for myself to not waste any opportunity and not waste any good opportunities. You know, as this year has been happening, I've realized that that's very hard. And I was wondering if you had any, any tips or how your experience is in making sure you're taking full advantage of your opportunities. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you, Mike. Foul zone. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. You know what the best part is? What? It's so everyone knows it's awkward to end a video. Right. You know, so mm -hmm. everyone does a little something goofy at the a end. A little, just a little signature flair. And you can look forward to all of it. I'm excited. Um, that was a good question. Yeah, I think so. So how do you yeah. not waste opportunities? Also, I like that he said... As the year has gone on, as it does. I know. You know? But I also couldn't help but think that it's February. Yeah. Like the year, I mean, that. It's just started to yeah, go. Yeah, like on. if he were saying that in August, you know, yeah. which is eight months yeah. in. First of all, I feel like we're only two months in. Give yourself a break. Yeah. What was his name? Juan, Juan Marcos. Juan Marcos. Juan yeah. Marcos. I want Juan you. Marcos. Juan Marcos. <laughs> He's singular, one, plural. He's one. He's the one. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So don't be too hard on yourself. Two months into your New Year's resolution. Yeah. Um, how do you make sure that you don't waste opportunities? I would say every day is is an opportunity, right? So you start the day intrinsically faced with opportunities. Mm -hmm. You can do everything or nothing in that day. Or yeah. You can take. Can you do everything? Well, and by that I mean no. <laughs> No, but you can take <laughs> steps towards your goal, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. I read an article with a, uh, from the, uh, that a Navy SEAL wrote, and he said you should wake up at 4.30 in the morning, which I haven't. Yeah, strike I, one. I haven't been doing. <laughs> right. but, but he said, make your bed first thing in the morning. Mm -hmm. And he said, one of the reasons you should make your bed first thing in the morning is it's give, it gives you a sense of accomplishment as your first task of the day. And you did it. Yeah, and I do it. And I mean... I, I did make my bed, but that now day. I make it. The day you read the article. The one day. <laughs> yeah. and, and I haven't made it since. <laughs> right. But um, I have someone else who does that. Yeah, understood. For, for understood. Me. But it's <laughs> 2000 was, you know, that money is still. That is just flying in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I could have any number of people make my bed. I mean, there's a staff. <laughs> I still makers. have to cook and clean for myself and everything, yeah. but if I want my bed made, <laughs> I make two or three calls. <laughs> bed is made. Wait a few days. <laughs> they show up. I'm Wait sorry. We have some days. guy called us to make his bed. Yeah, we didn't know what to charge him. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you want us to clean anything else? He said, no, no. <laughs> he seemed really confident. Um, I like the waking up early thing because I think that's what starts it. Right. You know, you wake yeah. up early, all of a sudden, like, you ever been bored at seven o'clock in the morning? 
Your day hasn't even started yet, player. That's true. You know? That's true. And then you start doing things. Yeah. Next thing you know, like I get most of the shit. I wake up at like six or seven every day. Crazy. What time do you go to bed? Um, Don't lie. I mean, if I have, if I'm out like at the clubs, at the comedy clubs. Uh, is that is there a pronunciation? Clubs. Component? <laughs> yeah. There is. is there? So, every time you pronounce something weird, you have to look right into the camera. Okay. That's very important. Okay, good. Um, so every time I'm out and I either have a show, it's probably after midnight. Um, but I could very easily fall asleep at like nine o'clock. I have to right. force myself to be out every single night. Right. I don't think I've ever adjusted to the uh, time change, <laughs> east west time change that's going on seven years. Really? So I wake up at six or seven in the morning every day. I get most of the work that I have to get done that day before like 11 o'clock. And then the rest of that day is just trying to stay awake yeah. and trying to see what else I could do. If you woke up at 10, just saying, <laughs> and did your stuff and were, you were done with your stuff by one, mm -hmm. would you then just not have to fight so hard to stay awake? Would there be maybe less time spent fighting? To stay You're awake? Actively trying to ruin my morning routine. <laughs> and I don't. Can you like not that. make your bed every morning, please? That I haven't made my bed in weeks. <laughs> weeks. Ever? Ever. I'm hearing ever from the so other. So he said room. ever for from a long ways away. <laughs> it uh, was a distant ever. There was a time where she was. No, I was in a hotel. We're gonna cut all this out. <laughs> No, it's about honesty. We started off. Yes. Yeah. Honesty. Yeah. Yeah. But but I think opportunities, I think there's a there's a strong component and tell me if you think I'm getting to What do I know? Right. About? Exactly. I think there's a strong component with goals. Like if you have goals that you set for for yourself or you have a sense of the opportunities that exist for you. Mm -hmm. There's a strong component where you can think, hey, I've done some of it, but not all of it, and ultimately feel like a failure. Yeah. Right? So I think part of it is giving yourself realistic expectations on how much of how many of my opportunities I can seize. Like, are you and I going to be astronauts by the end of the day today? Today? T Prob probably I mean, not. Probably not. Are we going to feel like failures because we weren't astronauts by the end of the day? Yeah. Yeah. We were a little <laughs> sad. I'm going to be, I'll tell you what will happen right now. Say it. Six, Say. seven o'clock yep. in the afternoon. Yeah. Sun goes down, moon <laughs> comes up. I'm sitting on this deck looking out at the moon being <laughs> like someday, but it's not going to, it's not, not going to be today. Yeah. Sad. <laughs> sad day. <laughs> Bummed out that you're not an astronaut <laughs> every day. <laughs> Today I'm going to be a doctor. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow. No. <laughs> the astronaut thing did not work I'm going to be a world leader tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but so setting realistic expectations about mm -hmm. what it means to take hold of opportunities. Yeah. Right? You wanted to be a stand-up. And someday... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, but you do little things every day to lead up to yes. what can I do today as a stand up? Can I go to an open mic? Yes, you can. Yeah. Because they're free and they will crush your soul, <laughs> but they're free and you could go. You can have your soul crushed for, for free. free. Yeah. <laughs> every so, day. And that's the world that we live in right now. But but you so you just know you're you're on your path, you're yeah. on your journey, and some days are more productive than other days, yeah. and that's okay. Don't give yourself permission to be slothful. No, no, not more than one day a week. One day a week, Sunday. Yeah, arbitrarily. Eat a medium pizza off your chest on Sunday. <laughs> Push your coffee table to the side. I like it's an I like that it's a medium. Yeah. It's not a small pie. A large is slothful. Large is excessive. Yes. Medium. Is it hot, though, when it hits yes. your chest? Does that make you eat more quickly? It could. It could. Again, and we <laughs> talked about those motivating factors. <laughs> Second degree burns. Yes. Motivating factors. Yes. You guys, thanks so much for watching. You can find Mike Falzone at MikeFalzone.com and anything Mike Falzone that you like. Thank you so much for joining us. My thank pleasure. you so much. Can I for plug where I am? Please. So my band's called Vertical Horizon, and I'm at official Vertical Horizon on Instagram, which is a very official thing to say. Mm -hmm. I think I'm at Vertical Horizon on Twitter and 
verticalhorizon.com and the Facebook slash something to do with Vertical Horizon. Yeah. <laughs>